Hey everybody, it's Harry from 780 Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. I'm going to show you guys today a recipe which I call the Keanu Reeves Rip Redo. But first I have to tell you a quick story. A few years ago, I was part of a catering crew that catered for a birthday party in a Warner Brothers lot in Hollywood, California. Well, we catered for a party for Keanu Reeves and we made a whole bunch of uh, barbecue items including uh, barbecue St. Louis ribs. Unfortunately, the ribs did not come out well that day uh, for a number of different reasons. But Keanu was such a beautiful and gracious host. He ate the rib and he said that he really liked it. He thought it was a really, really good rib. I felt bad over the years having served him a subpar rib. So today I'm going to try to make amends with Keanu by showing him the real recipe that he was supposed to have that day. So we're going to do a redo on the Keanu Reeves ribs. And uh, we're going to show you guys how we're going to add a few secret ingredients to make the rib extra special. Also, it's in homage to Keanu. I really enjoyed his John Wick 3 Parabellum episode. So this episode is for you, Keanu. If you ever want me back to come and redo the risk, I'd be happy to do that at no charge. We're also going to feature a product from Noah Glansville, who owns uh, Pit Barrel Cookers. I cooked on a Pit Barrel Cooker in Dallas recently. I was absolutely spitten by it. Spent two days cooking with it. And Noah was kind enough to send me a brand new Pit Barrel Cooker, which I'm going to do an unboxing, show you guys how to set it up. We're going to cook the Keanu Reeves rib redo on a brand new Pit Barrel Cooker. Let's fabricate now the uh, St. Louis ribs from the whole spare rib. Show you guys the uh, five or six steps that are needed for the full size St. Louis rib. Very important that uh, you get rid of this purge in the back, so please don't wash your meat in the sink. So here's a full size spare, and the first thing we want to do is we want to remove the diaphragm or the flap here from the St. Louis rib. So, we want to find the fourth bone. One, two, three, four, fourth bone. That's the longest bone. We insert the knife here, and we make a parallel cut here and here to sever the rib tip from the St. Louis rib. So, and uh, we flip it over, and uh, we have a big piece of uh, flap here. This is called the insertion point to the pectoralis, also called the false lean. So this piece comes off, not very good eating. So, I need the membrane here. This piece comes off, like so. This is ready to go. And we have a little bit of uh, excess at the end. I like to trim off the thin bones here, put them separately. So there you have it, the St. Louis fabricator. I'll show you how it's set up. So, diaphragm and the rib tip. So there you go, St. Louis rib ready to go. Let's pull the membrane next from the uh, St. Louis rib. So I'm gonna take a butter knife. I'm gonna run it underneath the membrane like so. There's two membranes, so you wanna get the one on top and not the one at the bottom. Take a paper towel, run your fingers underneath. So this has a grip and Get the uh, fingers to the other side. So. Ready? And if there's any hard fat here, you touch the fat. And if the fat is hard, uh, I like to kind of cut a V notch here. So this one is a little bit hard, so I'm gonna cut a V notch like so. You don't really have to do this, but if you want to get the best results, it's good to shave off some of the fat. It's hard, you only be hard. Let's do the next one. Pick a bone. Once you find a bone, go ahead and uh, run your knife underneath the top membrane. Okay, all done. Prepare now the special rub for the Keanu Reeves rib redo recipe. And 
just quickly on our ribs. All right, we're gonna put the rub on. I'm gonna put it until uh, it's a medium coat so that, that you cannot see the layer beneath. So, and you can put a smear on if you like, put some mustard or Worcestershire to help the rub stick, but uh, I'm gonna skip that today. But you can also do that if you like. I have lots and lots of rib videos you can watch. Many different ways to cook ribs. This is just one of them. We're gonna do it kind of uh, hot and fast on the pit barrel cooker. Pit Barrel Cooker cooks the ribs really, really fast and uh, it's a hook and hang method which I will show you in a little bit once we get the seasonings onto the ribs. I usually want to leave the seasoning on for about an hour so that the salt has a chance to penetrate the meat and this rub will create a wonderful color and flavor onto your ribs and this amount that I showed you how to make using tablespoons as a measurement it's good enough for two slabs of St. Louis ribs. Like this one. You can get the rub on like so. Kind of thick on the other side. Let it sit a little bit. And let it get nice and happy. Okay, so there you go. So that's, all. that's one serving of rub for two slabs of ribs. Okay, we roll for unboxing here. Okay, okay. welcome. Thank you for the business. Good. It's really nice to have a screwdriver, the way you're not short of parts and you even have a wrench here. So we can screw on the lid. So I think we should be uh, fastening the lid here. Show the other side also. It's very nice that they have a wrench even. Cherry wood, we're gonna use with Jealous Devil Charcoal. I'm gonna put the cherry wood underneath the coals here. Just a few pieces. Get a nice uh, cherry wood smoke on uh, the uh, Keanu Reeves rib redo. You always wanna put the uh, charcoal, you always wanna put the wood underneath the charcoal, not on top. And I think about four chunks of cherry will be absolutely perfect.
pit barrel cooker does not have a thermometer. So what do you do as a pit master? I recommend that you use your hands because uh, your hands are actually a very good thermometer. So what you do is when you touch your pit and you can put your hand on about a quarter second, that's approximately about 225 to 250. If you uh, can touch your pit and you can hold it for about an eighth of a second, it's about 275 and 300. So we want to get the pit to be a nice temperature. I'm going to try to get it around 275 and 300 to cook these uh, Keanu Reeves uh, redo ribs. And uh, we're going to basically hang them with this hook hanger, with these uh, little hooks. And then we're going to cook it until the ribs are cooked. The nice thing about pit barrel cooker is you do not need to wrap your ribs. The ribs will cook really great just hanging in the pit. Once the ribs are ready, we can go ahead and serve them. The way you hang your ribs is that you have to first locate the thick end. So between the ribs here, you have a thin end and a thick end. So on this rib here, this is the thick end. So I usually try to find the second bone and I put the hook right like this through here. And then I hang it from the second bone like so, like that. It's ready to go, this one. Same here on this one here, the big bones are on this side towards the neck head of the pig. So I'm gonna count one, two, second bone, put the hook here, and I'm gonna hang it like two fishes into the pit, like so. Here's the damper, then uh, if you leave it open like this, it'll run a little bit cool. If you need a little bit more heat, you just open up the damper like so. And if the screw is loose, you just take the screwdriver here, and then you just tighten the screw like so. Okay, so I'm gonna run it a little bit open, because I want the temperature to come up. Once the temperature has been stabilized, you can go ahead and close it like so. So you can move it back and forth. You can use this tool or you can use the attached screwdriver with the kit to close and open the pit. And if you keep it closed like this, there's just enough air gap here for it to run very, very smoothly. The ribs are ready. It's been about two hours or so. And uh, it's got a beautiful, beautiful color. And I'm going to use the tool, like this one here, pick it up. You can see how beautiful this rib is. So, look at that, beautiful, right? And uh, the nice thing about the pit barrel cooker is there's no need to wrap because the ribs are absolutely going to be perfect. Look at that mahogany color of the ribs. Pick up the other one. So this is a super fast way to cook ribs with no hassle. So, all right, ready to go. Yeah, if you like, you can get some barbecue sauce on your rib. So this is the Keanu Reeves rib redo. Super simple recipe. You saw me make it. We just trim the ribs up a little bit, make a quick rub, made up a few half a dozen ingredients, throw it on a pit barrel, and two hours later, you have beautiful competition style ribs. Um, Keanu, if you're watching my video, uh, you're more than welcome to try this recipe. If you want me to come by and cook it for you, I'd be happy to do that to make up for the round of ribs that didn't meet quite my standards when we served it to you at your party. But uh, hopefully I can redeem myself by showing everybody the recipe. If you are at home folks and you wanna try this recipe, by all means, please do so. Get some more sauce on the back part now. And you can use any sauce you like. If you don't have to use mine, just pick any barbecue sauce you like. If you don't like sauce, the ribs will be absolutely fantastic even without sauce. But I like my ribs with a little bit of sauce. You notice how I'm using the residual heat from the pit to essentially set the sauce onto the ribs here. So here we go. Flip it over. Let it sit for a minute. And let the sauce set with the residual heat from the pit. Okay, all right, let's get ready to cut, cut the ribs now. Okay, here we go. All right, absolutely gorgeous rib. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna take a bite. Super tasty, absolutely delicious. I guess I have some, I have some sauce in my mouth, but absolutely good rib. So, Keanu, if you're watching this video, even though I have sauce in my mouth, 
I wish you could be here tasting these super solid Zebra Daddy ribs. Um, if you want to try this recipe, please let me know. Uh, this is a pretty easy recipe for you to follow. And for those of you at home who want to follow me around, this is actually a great rib recipe to try. So homage to Keanu Reeves for his great movies, uh, Matrix, and so on. And the last one I saw was absolutely fantastic, the uh, John Wick 3 Parabellum. So go watch it. So meanwhile, I'm going to go finish my rest of my ribs. So we'll see you guys in the next video. So please like, subscribe, and share. I'd like to do a shout out for Noah from Pit Barrel Cooker for letting me try your Pit Barrel Smoker. It's a fantastic pit for those of you who want to get a pit that can do everything right out of the box. It's a simple hang and cook type of design. It runs really, really smoothly and the temperature control is absolutely perfect. Your ribs will come out perfect and you don't even need to foil them. So I highly recommend the Pit Barrel Cooker. Please look in the description for a link to get yours. Okay, here we go. Oh, careful, careful, don't fall down. Okay, stay here. Okay. And I'm gonna go back and enjoy the rest of my Matrix movie. <laughs>